Hey you guys and welcome back to another video. This video is actually very long awaited for me because I have had what pieces I'm going to be buying for this fall season in mind for quite a while. It's just going to be a small haul today but with some really really solid pieces that are going to be perfect for the transition from summer to fall. I'm going to go ahead and do the best item first. I picked these shoes up from Bestiaire Collective because I like a deal. And these are the classic Bottega boots. Everyone wears them, everyone loves them, and I'm still not tired of them. I've seen them for a few seasons now, and I decided it was time to pull the trigger and finally get my own pair, so here we have it. In an ideal world, I would have gotten the all black pair with a black sole, but since I'm a girl on a budget looking for the deals, I'm really happy with this pair and they're gonna get so much wear. If you stick around till the end of the video, I'm gonna style everything and I'll show you the try-ons. I guess since we're starting from the bottom up, I might as well show you some jeans now. These are from Isabel Morant and they are pretty cool. They are super high-waisted, they have some contrast stitching and they are just really, really cute. I specifically got them to style with the Bottega boots, and you'll see that at the end of the video. But these two things are going to look so cool together. I got them from My Teresa. Hopefully, they're still in stock. I'll leave links down below for you guys. But this with a big, chunky sweater and some boots or sneakers it's just gonna look awesome and I love basics with a twist and to me these jeans are just that whenever I'm buying something the way I think about it is kind of ridiculous but I think okay if I saw another girl wearing these would I want to be her friend and I would want to be friends with someone who wears these jeans these next four items are going to be from attire the studio and you've already heard me talk about them so so much so I'll save you the drama but I love this brand and they just make such great high quality classic pieces. So this has been on my wish list for a while. This black sweater and it has the most beautiful, beautiful texture on the sleeves and the neck. I just love this. It's going to look amazing. Honestly, these three things together, killer outfit. Moving on to the next two items. Dun, 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 dun. We have a very classic white button-up shirt with a twist, again from the tire of the studio. I love the contrasting of the collar and the sleeves to the shirt itself. And if you look closely, the buttons on here are so gorgeous. They're just really shiny and pretty. I like how the front of the shirt has some details right here that kind of suck it in a little bit. It's super oversized which is incredible. I also picked it up in this blue color, which again, it's such a gorgeous shirt. Those two items are just really great styling pieces. You can wear them buttoned up, you can wear them open, you can wear them for like the pantsless look with jeans. I mean, the options are endless and that's what I try to think about when I'm buying my clothes is can I style this a whole bunch of different ways? And I can. I do have a critique about those two items though, is that since they are cotton, they get so wrinkled. Like the blue one especially, it gets more wrinkly than the white. I just steamed these, and obviously a steamer is not gonna do the job as well as an iron would, but I'm terrible with an iron. And it's pretty wrinkly already, so that is a downside, but if you're not too anal about wrinkles, you'll be fine with this item. Moving on to a amazing, 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 amazing transition piece. We're gonna talk about this cardigan. I mean, it's beautiful. It has the same kind of knit as the sleeves of the black turtleneck, but oh, I'm such a sucker for knitwear and knits in general. Leaving in Georgia, you can't wear knitwear for very much of the year. And for some reason, that makes my addiction to it even worse. I mean, I'm buying it in August and September timeframe, and I won't be able to wear it till January. But I'm not going to risk missing out on getting these clothes because things sell out fast. You have to be shopping in advance for the seasons or you're going to miss out 
on all of the items that everybody else wants. I really advise that if you see something and you really like it and you really love it, you're really gonna wear it a lot, you better go out and buy it before everyone else does. These aren't really fall pieces, but I picked them up, so I think I'll just show you what they are so you can take inspo for them. So here's one of the bracelets I picked up. It is green and blue with some gold seashells. And then this one is brown and blue. It's honestly really not that summery of a piece. It would totally match either like of these shirts and it would just look so cute. But I think these are just really pretty bracelets. I'll put them on right now because why not? I guess it matches the necklace I'm already wearing. Told you guys this was gonna be a really short haul. I only have a few more items to show you as of now. And these are just items that I picked up from Marshalls, or no, sorry, TJ Maxx. Sometimes I like to pop in and see what kind of things they have. And they had these fuzzy slippers. And yes, you're, I know what you're thinking. You're like, those look like the Birkenstocks. Yes, they do. I've seen the fuzzy Birkenstocks everywhere on Instagram. And I think they're so, so cute. But I'm afraid to buy them because I'm not sure how they're going to hold up over time. They're like $200. And if I'm going to buy $200 shoes, then they better last. So I'm kind of testing the fuzziness of these and seeing how it holds up over time, you know, like with sweaty feet and dirt and whatnot. And if these don't last, then I'm gonna pass on the Birkenstocks because I do not want my money to go into $200 shoes that don't last. I mean, that would just make me sick. And the next thing I picked up is this puffer jean jacket kind of situation i mean it's not going to keep you super warm like if it's snowing i would never wear this it's not waterproof either but picture this with some baggy jeans and a baseball cap and it would just oh it would just be so cute so i'm very excited about this item and it was only like 30 bucks which was really nice well, those are pretty much my last fall kind of winter clothing items but I did pick up these two shirts from Lululemon, just two basic workout tops. And I figured I'd just show them to you guys if you're in case you're work looking for good workout clothes. I have so many of these tops and I needed a few more just so I had more variety when I'm picking out my workout outfits. But those shirts are so amazing. They last forever. I've had... I got my first one my freshman year of college and now I'm a senior so I've been wearing it for four years at least once a week every week since I got it and it still looks like it's brand new so those are just really good pieces to invest in. I like to put my money into clothes that I'm going to wear over and over again and so for working out if I'm going to be wearing something for years it just makes sense to me. And that's kind of the mentality I apply to all of my clothes. It's like, can you wear it multiple ways? Are you going to be wearing this for a really long time? And is it something you actually love or just something you've seen on social media? I've kind of been thinking, this is just a little bit of a tangent before I go try on the clothes, but I've been thinking about the word sustainability in terms of fashion and I'm realizing there's not really anything sustainable about buying clothes that are already made. So for example, Attire of the Studio markets themselves as a sustainable fashion brand and I would consider that more of an ethically produced brand that is aiming towards creating high quality pieces that last a long time, but they're not no fashion brand in my opinion anymore can be considered sustainable if they're producing something out of things that are not already made so thrifting yes that's sustainable because you're buying an item that was already produced but anything in the fashion world that's producing more and more is just going to add to the problem so to me something is sustainable if i buy it and i wear it for 10 years or 20 years or 30 years or a really long time but I don't think there's necessarily a brand out there you can support that is sustainable unless they're upcycling pieces that are already out there. I don't know, it's just something to kind of think about. I think I'm gonna make a whole video about this, but if you buy something from Zara, and I am guilty of this in the past of saying, oh, that's not cool, you shouldn't buy anything from Zara because it's not sustainable. But actually, if you're buying something from Zara and you're wearing it for 10 years, that is sustainable. 
but what's not sustainable is if you buy something from any brand and only wear it once or twice. I don't know, that's just something to think about in terms of are you being judgmental of other people because I know I definitely have been in the past but then I was thinking about it and I was like, you know, my whole view on sustainability was skewed. Let's just move on back to the haul and trying on clothes. That's just something to keep in mind um, when you are buying things or if you are judging other people. You'll have to excuse the setup. I'm in a new apartment and I can't figure out the lighting. So we're gonna film in the kitchen slash living area and it's gonna work out great. I just threw on this outfit. It's the attire sweater, the Isbo Marat jeans and the Bottega boots. I'm gonna go through each item and say what I like about it. So this sweater, I think it's pretty versatile because you can have the sleeves long or you can roll them up and make them shorter and I think both ways look really cute. I have the sweater tucked into these pants right now just because I think it makes my legs look a little longer and it shows off the waist of the jeans but you can obviously pull it out and wear it however you want. Moving on to the jeans, they are so high-waisted they pretty much go up to my rib cage and I like the back of them. They're so flattering and to me they look really really cool when they're tucked into the Bottega boots. I love how they cinch in at my ankles with the boots on and give a little bit of a baggy look on top. If you have long hair, it would look so cute with your hair tucked into the turtleneck. I can't really do it because my hair is so short, but you know what I mean, where it's just like that and it looks so cute and you just look so cozy and warm. I love this outfit. I'm totally gonna rock it and repeat this all fall and winter season. So cute. I'll go ahead and pull the leg of these pants out really quickly just so you can kind of see what they look like normal and gives you another way of thinking about how you could personally style it. I just threw on the attire shirt and I put the Bottega boots on again so you can see how they can be styled another way in case you're not convinced that they're one of the most perfect fall winter boots ever. We all know how this look goes. It's the no pants look. I just threw on my most mini short shorts ever from Saint Laurent and this button up from attire. Here's what it looks like from the back. As you can see, it's a bit longer, which is nice, especially when you're going for the no pants look. Just take a second to appreciate the details. Look at how striking this collar is and the cuffs. The details on this are strong. I am gonna point out though that it's already pretty wrinkly. It's just gonna get more and more wrinkly throughout the day, and if you buy this item, you're just gonna have to accept that fact. But it's so, so cool, love this. Here's another option for styling the button-up shirt. You can just wear it with a plain tank top, some baggy jeans, and some chunky sneakers, and it looks so good and just really effortless and chill. Something else that would look cute is like a really tiny bralette underneath and you could have it buttoned a little bit or just completely open. That would also look really, really great. Ooh, and one second. If you throw on a hat and grab a bag, boom, your outfit. It's easy, it's made, it's simple, but you look so put together. I can't wait to wear this when the weather cools down. We're on a roll with the whole hat and baggy pants look. I figured I'd just throw on the puffer. Looking back next time, I would definitely style this jacket with a, another wash of denim, probably something darker to match the yeah. blue tones in the jacket. It's really chill, it's really laid back, and it looks cool. Giving me street style vibes. Guys, I'm kind of sad. This is the last item that I have to show you for the try on portion of this haul. This video is making me really excited to wear my fall clothes now. Here's the sweater. It's absolutely gorgeous. You could wear it off the shoulder a little bit more. You know, play with the sleeves, make them longer, roll them up a bit. But oh, it's so stunning. It's so sophisticated. But you can also, you know, dress it up or dress it down. I paired it with these flowy, big baggy, comfy pants from Levi's 
and those little knockoff Birkenstocks I just showed you. Honestly, in some kind of video, I'll keep you updated on the whole Birkenstocks shoe situation because I don't want anyone to waste their money on a $200 pair of shoes that doesn't last. Just thinking about it stresses me out so much. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think of the outfits. If you have any other ideas on how to style the outfits, I'd love to know. If you made it this far, you should totally subscribe because I've been looking at my YouTube analytics and 72% of the people that watch my videos don't subscribe. It would just make me really happy if you hit the subscribe button. And if you like clothes, why not? Like everyone here in this community likes clothes, so you should just do it. Okay, enough of that. I'm gonna go. I hope you like the clothes. The links will be down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.